In this recording, we're going to look at linking within Nisus Writer. And there are three ways to do linking, or three kinds of links. Uh, one is an external hyperlink, where you're linking to a URL on the World Wide Web. There is an internal hyperlink, where you link using bookmarks to other places within your document. And finally, there is links to external documents. And a link to an external document is just like it sounds. You can link to and open a document that is external and to the one you're working on and not even a uh, nicest writer document if, if necessary. In fact, it can be any kind of document. So let's look at each one of these. And the first thing I want to look at is putting together a hyperlink to an external URL. I have a, a reference to an article in the site called The Art of Man Manliness, and I would like to make a link to that. So the first thing I want to do is find where this link is. So I'll look for this guide to cold, which I know is part of the string I'm looking for. And as you can see, it's a man's guide to cold weather dressing. Now, I also have a link available on my browser. So this is the article I'm looking for, or I want to link to. And one of the things I want to do is copy that URL. So I'll do Command C to copy the contents of, from the URL bar and go back to my nicest writer document. To create the URL link, just highlight the string you want to have hyperlinked. I'm going to insert a hyperlink and add a link. Since I've already copied the Art of Manliness link or URL, it will show up in the link destination. And the display text is what I highlighted. So I've highlighted a man's guide to cold weather dressing. The Art of Manliness URL is already inserted into the link destination field. And I can simply click Insert now, and it turns this into a hyperlink to a, a man's guide to cold weather dressing. If I click on that, my browser will open up that page and we're good to go. So that's the external hyperlinks, uh, easy links to an internet site. Another link you may want to create is one within a document. Consider that you may have references to footnotes or to in notes or you know more material than what you have in, in line with your initial narrative. In this case, I'm going to look at doing links between my table of contents at the top of the page and a weather site or the weather reference sites. Uh, this was demonstrated in the tutorial on doing navigation within Nisus Writer. Then this is how internal links are developed. I can double click on the table of contents page and it will take me down to the weather reference sites. And I also have weather reference sites in my bookmarks. And bookmarks are key here to being able to do internal links. Uh, I've also got a bookmark to the contents. So I can easily go back and forth with my internal bookmarks between the weather reference sites and the contents for the document. But when I publish this, create a PDF, then it's going to be incumbent upon having these links embedded within the text to be able to allow the reader to bounce back and forth between these sections. So what I'd like to do is create a, a link that lets me move back and forth. So first I'll go to the weather reference sites location again. What I would like to do is create a return tag and I'm going to put that after the, the, all the reference sites that I've got in this list and just say return to table of contents or TOC. I already have table of contents created in the bookmarks. I'm going to highlight this return to TOC, go back to insert, hyperlink, hyperlink or add a link to a bookmark. And I want to select contents and do an insert. And now you can see this is a hyperlink. It's blue with the underline using the hyperlink styles, as you see over here. 
If I click on that, it jumps to the contents. And if I want to have a very active table of contents entry, I can do the same thing with this entry and highlight that entry, go to hyperlinks, add a link to a bookmark, choose that bookmark, which was already defined, my weather reference sites, insert, and again, you see this turns into a link, it goes directly to the reference sites, and I can quickly jump back to the table of contents. The final type of link that can be created is one where you can link to external documents. And what I would like to do in this case is link to a preparation list of things I would need to accumulate or get together to do one of these winter photo shoots. And I've got a checklist created and I would like to link to that checklist from within this document. That's a simple example that I'm using, but if you're writing something much more complex, like a, um, a book where it may have you know, numerous chapters and the, the, all the chapters in separate files, you may want to have links between chapters set up that way. And there are, they would be separate NISIS writer files. In this case, I'm going to link to something that's not a NISIS writer file because you can link to any kind of file. So the first thing I need to do is find the reference and I'm going to find make. I know it's going to make a checklist. I, I know that there's a couple of words there that are part of this uh, string. But I'm not absolutely sure that it's just make checklists adjacent to each other. So I want to go into here and I can also add any text uh, in the wildcard section. And what that says is I want to find this string that says make checklist, but it can have any number of words in between the make and the checklist. I want to find next. And here I have found the string I'm looking for. It's make and use a checklist. Now that I'm at the location I need, I want to highlight checklist, insert a hyperlink, link to a file, and then I'll be presented with a finder window to navigate to that file. In this case, I know it's on my desktop. It's an uh, Omni Outliner file. It's called my winter packing list. I want to add this hyperlink or insert this hyperlink after I've selected the winter packing list file. And you see again, I've got a hyperlink in place for the word checklist. If I click on checklist, my winter packing list opens up. And in this case, it's on the outliner. So there is a quick introduction to creating hyperlinks in Nisus Writer. There, as usual, is considerably more information in the user's guide, and the user's guide can be accessed through the help menu and just go to the Omni Outliner help. Or there are three locations to reference links within this document. The first is in the quick start section of getting started. And if you just go to quick start and scroll down to the next page after that title, there's a couple of lines here or several paragraphs about creating links to external files. There is a much better discussion of internal hyperlinks in the creating documents section. So you go to creating documents. Within creating documents, there's a section called book tools. And then within book tools, what you'd like to do is navigate to working with bookmarks and cross-references. And then there's a very detailed discussion on creating links within a, a nicest writer document. So this is what I've been referring to as internal links. Finally, there are the external links in the section of putting it all together. Uh, go to putting it all together, go to the Nisus Writer uh, Pro and the internet and you will see a fairly lengthy discussion about linking and uh, referencing material on the internet using Nisus Writer.
So again, go to the user's guide uh, be, and you'll find a, a wealth of information there for using links internally and externally within Nisus Writer Pro.